Welcome to the third and final part of my best worst of 2021. I need, I need a sub after the last two, yeah, because it's major disappointment, major frustration. Just hours wasted on shy or disappointment. I suppose that's what 2020 and 2021 has been like. Disappointment and shy. Now, to get into the best ever, I'm not going to go too far on some of them. Some of them I've only watched for the very first time. So, The Last Night in Soho, I reviewed it, I liked it. Wasn't expecting it to be like that. Edgar Wright doing a whole different kind of style to what he's normally used to. Really, really interested in a director who can change it up. Possession, also reviewed it before I started filming it. Fucking hell, that's fucked up, man. Really enjoyed it. She's having sex with an alien or some sort of beast. I, I, it's just weird. Next up is Pig, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage on one of the worst lists. Now he's on one of the best. If you were expecting a crazy Nicolas Cage film where he's just gone around like smashing people up and just doing, ah, Nicolas Cage. No, he's so somber. He's so quiet. The story is so methodical. It's really good. Next up is Elephant. Elephant is, oh, it's so, oh, there's hardly any dialogue and it's like looking from three different perspectives over a school shooting. Obviously the the big one, uh, Columbine in America is obviously lots of controversy about this in the film. It's directed by Gus Van Zandt. It's starring really nobody that nobody knows but it feels real. It feels so dour, so somber, and I really enjoyed it. Next up is, I, it was released last year, but I watched it this year. She dies tomorrow. Some people didn't like this. I like this psychological thriller vibe. Um, this like, can death be contagious? And it's a really interesting premise, uh, and I liked it. Next up then, I also have his worst film on my last list. And now I have a force watch that I've always been meaning to watch and this is Prince of Darkness, directed by John Carpenter. Never seen it before, absolutely fucking love this film. This is great. This is going back to his day live. This is basically, oh, big trouble in little China. This is the type of style and vibe that I love about John Carpenter. This was a really good force watch. Next up is another force watch. Try to get as much of my watch list down this year. Is Solaris, Steven Soderbergh's uh, psychological uh, drama, should you say, starring George Clooney. Um, I really enjoyed this. Beyond the Davis is really good in the two. Really enjoyed this. It's really, uh, it's a slow burner, but it's really interesting. Next up is a new film that was released this year, Dune, I reviewed it, spectacular and epic to watch. The story is good, some great performance from especially Rebecca Ferguson and Oscar Isaac. Uh, really hope the narrative kind of goes in a broader spectrum now and gets more a bit into the action. Uh, next up then is The Last Jewel, already reviewed it. Loved uh, Jodie Comer's performance. Really interesting film. Then there is The Sound of Metal I watched for the very first time. It's about a musician who becomes deaf. Um, uh, starring Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed. Hopefully uh, Olivia Cook. It's really, really good. Really, really interesting. Kind of a coming of age drama. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. The sound design in it as well is fantastic. Next up is probably the most fucked up film I watched this year, apart from Possession, is uh, Titan. Just <coughs> review the check out the review, but yeah, crazy, brilliant, yeah. Next up is four films that were already released that I never watched. One is an old one uh, from 1994. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. The two female performances are absolutely fantastic. 
it has some of the best acting I've seen, real acting. And the movie is Once Were Warriors. It's based in New Zealand about a, a family uh, and the father, the husband, is an alcoholic, uh, violent, abusive father. The friends, he brings his friends back to have parties and it gets violent and it's a real family story set in like working class family in New Zealand and it's absolutely fantastic. Next up is one of the most moving films I watched this year. It is The Father. Uh, some people had, I, I'm looking at some people's scores on on, on uh, Letterbox here. And I don't know why they'd be giving it one or two stars, but whatever. Um, starring Anthony Hopkins and it's starring Olivia Coleman. It's really psychological and it tries to put you in the seat of what I like, what it's like to have dementia, Alzheimer's, um, and I watched it with my partner, and she kind of got upset because she walks in that sector. I really did uh, feel it as well. Um, it is a tough watch, but it's really, really well acted and well shot. Final two movies are forced watches, and again, they're all watches. I've already put this into the best war films. It's the Tin Red Lion. It was surprisingly just amazing um directed by terence malik starring everybody it's, it's like oh i've already mentioned it in the war you know what i think of it and then finally is the oldest film on my list from 1957 12 angry men as Owen wilson says wow it is so good it is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. I don't know why I've taken so long to watch it. I gave it 9 out of 10. Uh, four and a half stars out of 5. Um, it's about 12 men talking. Uh, like, talk, like 12 men in the jury talking about some kid who uh, killed someone. Um, I, I should have done a whole review on this. I haven't got time. It's just, yeah, one of the greatest films I've ever seen. Um, and it stands the test of time. All this time, years later. Oh, yeah, I, I'm going to have to give that another watch. It's that good. It's that good. It's so, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to really explain when I watch it for the first time. Directed by Sidney Lumet. He was absolutely fantastic. He's one of the greatest ever. But that is my list of my best force watches. My most disappointing watches. And the worst shit of 2021. Tell me what yours are. Please like, subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in 2022. Have a good one.